Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The Boomsday Project solo adventure is now available. It's go time. And we got us three packs to celebrate. All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. It has been a minute since I've done some actual Hearthstone stuff on the channel. The second it's released, I'm 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 an hour behind. Actually, I think I'm only about ten minutes behind, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, today we're gonna be doing Hearthstone. We're gonna be doing a solo adventure. For those of you who know me, you know that I love me some solo adventures in Hearthstone. Energetic, morally flexible researchers to engage in air quote science. You in or what? Oh, I'm in, Dr. Boom. We got us some puzzles to do. It's the Boomsday Project. Can you outsmart nine mad Hearthstone geniuses? Explore Dr. Boom's secret lab in the diabolical puzzles hidden within. You got it, fam. Let's do this. Why don't you tour the facility? You got it. Oh, I thought they were all going to open. Okay, so it looks like we got one, two, three, four puzzles to work on. Let's do this. Uh, there's, there's four different... Four? Yeah, four different kinds of puzzles to do. And you have to read certain goals in each one. So for lethal, I'm going to assume that I have to get lethal this round interested in my necrium experiments just visit my recruiter all right so this is poison master paul Art. you signed the waiver it's time to test for lethal <laughs> here we go Lethal. Destroy the enemy hero. You got it. Become a poison tester today. Just sign right here. Okay, so within these puzzles, I have to we'll start you off Oop. with some pain tolerance testing. Try and knock him out. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I am the recipient. Let me check my contract. My turn to talk. Okay, I'm gonna assume I have to win this turn. The way things are set up, it looks like I must win this turn. The The condition is I'm the rogue. Uh, there's no cards left. And these are the only cards in my hand. Uh, I'm sorry. I have Bluegill Warrior on the field to 2-1 with charge. And I have Cold Blood and Deadly Poison in my hand. These two are useless. Well, I shouldn't say useless. At the moment, I can't do anything with both of these because I don't have a weapon. But I have the weapon... Making ability. Under no circumstances may trade secrets be shared. Shocker. And then we've got two attack here, so that's gonna put him at seven. If I have the weapon, that's gonna put him at six. Unless I increase my weapon attack by two, that's gonna put him at four. And cold blood with combo active is just enough to take him out. I have to put it on my bluegill bluegill warrior. That's what it's called. Yeah, bluegill warrior. So here's three for me. And six from the warrior. Lethal. The next puzzle. All right. Oh, we have to do nine right here. Some minions can attack right away. Quick and painful. Okay, so this one has been active on the field since last turn, so we're going to be able to attack with it. Uh, let's see. Mana Worm, whenever you cast a spell, gain one attack. So with every spell I cast, this thing's going to get bigger. That's good because we got ten life to deal with right here. So this is one. If I were to hit him with Frostbolt and then Frost... I'm sorry, with Frostbolt, which deals three damage and then freezes him, and then another Frostbolt, which deals three damage and freezes him, and then Ice Lance, which will freeze him unless it's already freezed frozen and it will instead deal four damage actually we only have to attack 
We could just hit him with all the frost bolts in the world. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have that much mana. We don't have that much mana. Oh, nice, nice play, chill. <laughs> okay, so I only have four mana. So that means I'm only going to be able to play at the most two spells. So let's see. If I play Frostbolt, that's three damage, and he's frozen. So he's really down to seven. If I hit him with the Ice Lance, that's four damage. He's down to three because he's frozen. And then this will have gotten two attack because I played two spells. So this will really be at three attack. This can go in for the attack. That was close. I thought it was going to let us leave here and then open up the next stage. All right. So we have six mana this time. I've seen this testing before. It can't be that bad, right? We have six mana. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We don't have any minions in place. So that means anything that we play normally won't be able to attack unless it has charge. Like the Stone Tusk Boar here. So clearly I need to play that. He's got 12 health. So I've got to do 12 damage. I've got to find 12 damage off six mana in this hand. So let's see. Stone Tusk Boar gets played. That's one mana gone. And I have one attack. Five mana. How can I get there with the rest of this in five mana? Let's see. This will give a minion plus two. So if I play him after I play the boar, the boar's at three. Side effects may include stomach pain, nausea, hair loss. The boar would be at three attack, and I'd have four mana left. If I play Rockbiter Weapon on the boar, let's see, one and two is three, plus three is six, and I have how much mana left? One, two. I have two mana left. I can give him Wind Fury, and then that's it. So charge, I'm sorry, the boar, abusive sergeant, rockbiter weapon, and wind fury means that the character can attack twice this turn. So six instantly becomes 12 damage. Moving fast. We are moving fast. All right. The best scientists are willing to sacrifice. Okay, so these both have taunt. That means before I go to uh, Pollock's health of 11, I have to take care of these. I have to get rid of this guy with four uh, health and this guy with three attack and three health. Let's see. This one's probably going to be the challenging one. Well, I have five mana and I have five cards or three cards in hand that cost five mana. So clearly I'm going to be playing all of them. I think what's important is placement. Because normally this is a 1-1 one, one, and this is a 2-1. But the Flame Tongue Totem is giving anything adjacent to them to attack. So that means the second I play these, I either need to play them on the inside. The recipient must donate their assets to... Dr. Boom. I need to play them on the inside, either directly to the left or directly to the right of uh, the Flame Tongue Totem, or I'm not going to make it because they won't have enough power to take care of him. At the same time, I need to worry about uh, attacking with the right things, it looks like. Okay, so we have to play. We have to get rid of these two and then go at him for 11 health or 11 attack. This thing's going to give us two each time. So quick math, three things attacking him is going to be an extra six points. Three times two is six. So I really only need to make sure I have five attacking him. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I can just take these two out with this. And I got to play these the right way. Easiest way is to play them and attack immediately. And then this should be five. Oh boy! The Hearthstone tricks, boy. Oh, 
I shouldn't have signed in ink. Okay, same thing. This guy is, uh, he's in the way. We have to take him out before we can start attacking Polart. So let's see. Uh, he's got Taunt, and he's a 3-6. So it's going to take six points of damage to take him out. What's cool about this guy here, the Frothing Berserker, is whenever a minion takes damage, he gains one attack. So the trick is probably going to be making sure I hit him enough times before I kill him to make this big enough. Let's see, we've got 10 mana, which means we can play everything in our hand. And we can even use our ability once. We, we use that once. So will we need to? Yes, that, that might be the trick. Oh, perhaps I should have read my contract in full. Okay, so here's what we can do. Uh, let's see. Okay. So Shield Slam deals one damage for each armor we have. So that means we need to play this after we use our ability. Because we don't have any other way to gain armor uh, with this hand, with this setup. Whirlwind deals one damage to all minions. So maybe we need to play all the minions we can and then drop this so that it hits as many different minions as it can. So we can get Frothing Berserker as big as we can. Uh, this guy has Rush, which works like Charge, but it can only, it can only hit minions. Uh, he can't just attack the opponent outright. You have to attack the minions with them. And then same thing. We have two copies of it. Ten mana means we, we, we could do everything. So let's play him. I'm fast and furious. And him. I'm fast and furious. We'll gain armor. Now if we play... What is it? Let's play... Wait a second. Let's see. Let's do the math here. These are both going to attack him. But once I drop Whirlwind, he's going to be big enough to take him out by himself. So maybe I shouldn't. Let's see. Let's play Whirlwind. Did I need Shield Slam? I have two armor. Yes, if I play Shield Slam, then attack with one of these. These will both take damage, which means this will get two more points. And these two can go and attack here. Two damage to him. So he's, yeah. In your face! And there was a missing point. I forgot, I forgot the case of Shield Slam. Where is it? Shield Slam dealing damage to the Ironwood Golem, giving him another point. Okay. I cannot do that. Oh, I messed up somewhere. I messed up somewhere. I think, let's see. Let's reload it. I'm two points shy. Let's reload it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's correction fluid somewhere. All right. I like that I messed up. Let's go. I want to just fly through all these. Let's see. So what I did was play both of these, get my armor up, play Whirlwind, Shield Slam on uh, the Ironwood Golem, attacked with one of the Worgens, and then attacked in. That wasn't enough. Let me see. He's going to get stronger every time someone, every time a minion takes damage. So I need to maximize minions taking damage before he goes for the attack. So let's see. Let's play these again. This is I what I've been making people sign up for? I'll get my armor. Was I supposed to hit one of my own wargans with shield slam? If I hit my Worgen with a Shield Slam, he's going to be a 3-1. He's going to go up to 3 attack. If I then drop Whirlwind, he dies, and these 3 take damage, which means this is going to go up to 7. Is that right? Because charge, oh, I'm sorry, Rush means they can't attack here, so I might as well. Is that right? Let me see. Let me see. Shield slam. He's at three. 
attack in. Page 12. He's at four. It's been forfeits all rights to legal recourse. Maybe I whirlwind. Let's see. Shield slam three. Whirlwind, he's going to die. Shield slam, whirlwind. Let's see. Shield slam three, whirlwind, four, five, six, seven. This attacks there. I'm still at nine. Oh, man. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Poison E must survive at least 10 doses to receive payment? 10 to a minion for each armor I have. I have two armor. Oh, can I do... Let's see. If I... We did this last time. If I go here, he's a 3-4. This goes up to one mana. I'm sorry. This goes up to three attack. He's at three, four. This goes up to three attack. They both attack in. No, no, no. Oh, it's the order. I think I did everything right. It's just the order. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. They both attack. All three of these are dead. But then where's Shield Slam going? Do I hit him for Shield Slam? Whirlwind. One, two, three, four. So this is really a six, four. Attack, attack for 10. Yes, that's what it is. Whirlwind. This contract may be modified at any point for any reason. So that's. Yeah, that's where it is. He's just living. That's where it is. All right. All right, game. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, so this time Polark has 10 health. He has two five ones with taunt. I wonder, let's see. Now, Magnetic, I haven't played with Magnetic at all. So I don't know if once I get rid of this guy, these two would fuse together immediately because one's to the left of the other. Uh, I mean, Magnetic says play this to the left of a mech to fuse them together. Uh, and they have taunt as well, so I'd have to go through them first. Uh, taking Abomination says death rattle, deal five damage to your minions. So if I kill him first, we don't have to worry about these two. Uh, let's see. My minions in hand, I have Leroy Jenkins, who has charge and battle cry. Print. This is all fine print. Charge and battle cry. Summon two 1-1 one -one whelps for your opponent. Wolf Rider is a 3-1 with charge. Uh, I have reincarnate, destroy a minion, then return it to life with full health. Uh, so let's see. And I have 10 mana. So I can't play everything. At most, I can play Leroy, the Wolf Rider, and Reincarnate. So let's see. If I were to play Reincarnate on this guy, he'd die immediately and take out these two. Which means I won't have to attack the minions. I can just run in. These two would be gone. He must survive at least 10 doses to receive payment? I could then play Leroy Jenkins, who has six attack in charge. Could I kill him again and then attack again? Because if I play Wolf Rider, I'm one point short. Let's give that a shot. What if? Let's be classy about it. Let's, let's do Leroy first. That way we also get rid of these two. Good. 
Time's up. Let's do this. And then we can kill our own Leroy. He'll come back and be able to attack again. It's a it's a pseudo win fury. All right. I've really only gotten stumped by one puzzle so far. This is dope. All right. If you're having trouble, experiment. That's what we're here for. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be one where I have way too many ops. <laughs> okay. So Polark's at 14 health this time. He's got another one of the boys with magnetic and taunt. So we've got to deal five damage to it one way or another before we can take it out. Uh, we have a mana worm. That's the minion that gets bigger whenever we cast a spell. It'll get one attack anytime we cast a spell. We've got ten mana. It looks like a bunch of minions and spells. Let's see. We've got, oh, for minions, we've got Cosmic Anomaly, which is a 4-3 for 4. That gives us an extra two spell damage if it's on the board. We have G uh, Kobold Geomancer, who is a 2-2. Two -two for two the fine print this is all fine that print. has an extra point of spell damage if it's on the board and we have celestial emissary uh with a two one for two with battle cry your next spell this turn has plus two spell damage and then for spells we have the coin which will give us an extra mana we have 10 right now uh, we have arcane blast which deals two damage to a minion but it gets extra points it gets double bonus from spell damage we have uh, uh, fireball, which deals six spell damage, or dicks, a spell that deals six damage. Okay, this is gonna be the one. This is the one that I'm gonna have to sit for a while. I already see it. Let's see. We've got ten mana. Every spell we play is gonna make him bigger. This is gonna be the one. Twelve participant forfeits all rights to legal recourse. Okay, so I could play. Let's see if I play all of these guys: the the four three, the two two, and the two one. Then I only have enough mana, not counting the ring, or sorry, not counting the coin. I only have enough mana to play Arcane Blast. I don't need all of that for a minion. So obviously, that's not the answer. Obviously, the answer is not play all three of these guys. Next spell this turn has two spell damage. Let's see. I could play the Emissary. And then Arcane Blast. That'll be able to take out the Gatekeeper. Oh, perhaps I should have read my contract in full. That's three mana. So then I have seven left. I really have uh, eight with the coin. So if I were to do that, this would be at two. So I need to... Uh, find 12 damage for him. That's that's Emissary Arcane Blast. I still have 8 mana with that. Counting the coin, I have 8. Let's just assume I play the coin. He's at 3. So I need to find 11 damage. With 8 mana, I need to find 8 damage. Oh, that's easy. Cosmic Anomaly. Fireball. Is that it? I think that might be it. Emissary. Starlight. So spell damage says uh, it deals an extra two. This deals double. So instead of an extra two, this deals four. An extra four. So it would be two plus four, six. Here's the coin. I could play Cosmic Anomaly. Science over once I drop this, that's eight. Ooh, that's not right. I messed up, didn't I? Eight. This would be at six. Yeah, I messed up. I was a little eager in my math. <laughs> yeah, I was a little eager. Let's start that over. I've got a stack of these contracts if you want to start fresh. All right, let's see. So this is the only spell that will be able to hit Polark. So let's focus on making this big. It 
Let's see, I also only have three spells in hand. So at most, this guy's going to be a four. So I need to deal ten to Polark. Let's see. Let me let me look at what I did again. The emissary brought this up In to six. Of accident, recipient must donate the assets to Doctor Boom. Let's see. Emissary brought this up to six, so I can kill that with no problem. This was a two. I played the coin. This became three. I have eight mana. Let's see. Shit, I played the anomaly. Huh. What if we flip that around? What if we flip that around? Would that matter? Instead of playing the emissary. Let's give Page 36. Under no circumstances may trade secrets be shared. Shocker. Let's give Arcane Blast the anomaly. Science overwhelming. Ow. Coin. Starlight. Yeah, that's it. Okay. There we go. There we go. The order mattered. So this is 10 damage here. This is going to go from 3 to 4 and finish it. Alright. What's cool? What's cool about all this? What's cool about all this is these are all situations I could absolutely see happening in a regular game of Hearthstone. Like a lot of the time, if you if you sit there and figure it out, you could find lethal. It just becomes a puzzle. All right. So once again, nine health for Polark, uh, and he's got a Bronze Gatekeeper which ma with magnetic and taunt. As far as I know, magnetic won't matter, uh, but it has taunt. We have a Clockwork Automaton, double the damage and healing of your hero power. So instead of dealing two damage, this really deals four. So if we can get rid of him, we just have to play five attack, and we got this. Let's see what we got in hand. Our minions. We have uh, Black Walled Pixie. This is what I've been making people sign up for. Ooh. We have Black Walled Pixie, a three four uh, for three that says refresh your hero power. Basically, we'll get to use our hero power again. Uh, so then we really only need one point unless we can find a way to play this again. Uh, another minion we have. Oh, I think I did find it. <laughs> oh, no, that might not work because of battle cry. Whatever. This is the carnivorous cube, a four, six for five. Who says battle cry, destroy a friendly minion and death rattle. Summon two copies of it. Uh, our spells, we have Hunter's Mark, which changes the minion's health to one. Arcane Shot, which deals two damage. And Play Dead, trigger a friendly minion's uh, death rattle. So let's see. This contract may be modified at any point for any reason. Okay. Oh, come on. Our Clockwork Automaton can't attack. So let's just ignore the fact that it's a 4-4. Four -four. I don't think that's going to matter here. If we play Hunter's Mark... If we play Hunter's Mark, oh, that's not going to help us, is it? Because we can't attack with anything this turn. So maybe we have to worry about our hero ability. Maybe that's clearly where we're trying to go. Trigger so Finley Minion's Death Rattle. Okay. So if we play, if we use our hero ability, we'll deal four damage. He's down to five health. If we play Black Walled Pixie, we'll refresh the hero ability, a uh, hero power. For three mana, and we'll be able to use the ability again. So that's two. Side effects may include stomach pain, nausea, hair loss. That's two mana, then three, that makes five, and then two, that makes seven. So we'll have three mana left. Oh, and then we could just use our king shot. Simple, simple, bo bimple.
An arcane shot for the kill. Simple, simple, bow bimple. Ooh, it's a big board. <laughs> so all, he goes all out for this last puzzle. It's everything everywhere. Okay. Is that it? I think this, this is the only thing we can do. We can't attack with anything. We can't attack with anything. We can't use our hero ability. This is all we got, the backup plan. Let's take a look at what's going to happen before we do stuff, okay? So we'll look at our side first. Let's start with the cards I know. Uh, explosive Sheep is Death Rattle. Deal two damage to all minions. So everybody's going to take two damage. That means everything on my side is going to die, no doubt. And then uh, Polar is going to lose this, this, and this, all right? So everything on my side is going to die. No question. Page 36. Under no circumstances may trade secrets be shared. Shocker. The Mistress of Mixtures has Death Rattle. Oh, remember, everything on my side is going to die. So this is going to die. It has Death Rattle restore four health to each hero. So this is these two, this and this, are actually going to heal Polark by, by a total of four life. So he's going to go up to 18. This thing, the Goblin Bomb, Death Rattle, deal two damage to the enemy hero. So even though Polark's going to, I'm sorry, this is restore four health. So it's going to go up to eight, will be 22. So even though Polark's going to go up to 22, this is going to take all of that right back from him. All four of these together are going to take it right back. Okay? So again, I said these two and this guy is going to die. This guy, Coffin Crasher, Death Rattle, summon a Death Rattle minion from your hand. Read the fine print? This is all fine print. I don't know what he has in his hand, but we're going to find out when this guy dies. Uh, when the Abomination dies, it's deal two damage to all characters. So we've got this one and this one. That's four. That's going to kill everything on his side. These two combined with my, uh, my explosive sheep is going to kill everything on his side. So this is also going to die. This is also going to die. And these three are going to summon death rattle minions from his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've, we're going to heal and deal the same amount to him. So he's really at 14. This is going to be eight. So he would have six health left. I'm going to assume that means that he has three abominations in his hand. Let's find out. There's one. There's two. And three. I'm going to go lie down. Dope! <laughs> I really only got slowed down on what, two puzzles? Was I think it was two, right? That's dope. All right, so we solved lethal. Oh, and we unlocked the, ne unlocked the next one? I thought... He was going to give us this next week. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know if I want to do lethal next or mirror next. Uh, oh, decisions, decisions. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. If you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit the red button below this video. That's our subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video goes live on the channel or whenever I do something special like like Dr. Boom's Day, Boom's Project, the Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. You'd know I'm about this.